After the discussion among four friends, finally uh, Dryden bounces or bounces back to a private discussion between uh, two friends, uh, Neander and Kreitz. Uh, the basically the discussion is about the use of rhyme and blank words whether it is advisable to use rhymed words or rhymed language or it should be in blank words which one is better so here i am representing neander who stands for the use of rhymed words okay then i, I wish to highlight the thoughts and ideas uh, expressed by critis and uh, uh, he, he represents uh, rhyme should be there, blank verse. Uh, his thoughts on rhymes and blank verse are presented. So I wish to highlight them. And among that, the first thing is that uh, Christ said that rhyme is unnatural in the play. So it should not be, it, it is not a proper uh, medium to carry the just and lively image of human nature. So this is one presentation, but this presentation is also argued by Neander's. Uh, literature is sensory phenomenon. Uh, when you read something, it appeals your sense of vision. Uh, but if it appeals your sense of listening to, uh, that adds more charm to the literature. So it's all about choosing of the words. How do you choose the words? So if you choose appropriate words at the appropriate place, then there is no point of unnaturality. So natural words at natural place, and that creates natural sound, which uh, adds tune to the work. Okay, then there is also the Christ's another uh, argument. He said that uh, without a premeditation, uh, it is impossible to express or speak. So, in his word, I would like to quote, no man without premeditation speak in rhyme. So, uh, this is the solid ground on account of that he argues that it should not be used. But, uh, in, on, on contrary to this, uh, if there is a stress meter, peach, pun uh, in language, then it creates a certain impression, certain effect of the language. So it is advisable to use musical language and rhyme to one. Hmm. Okay, so similarly rhymed and blank verse is also that. Christ has also given his uh, view that uh, not only the rhyme, blank verse should, uh, should not also uh, carry the just and lively human image. And uh, it will not work to serve the delight and instruct. So this is also the argument of Christ is that it should not be used in a proper way. Rhyme is a, a sugar-coated ornament which adds sweetness to the language. So sweetness should be there in literature. So if you wish that certain kind of sweetness, it is advisable to use rhyme. Uh, okay, the last uh, very important matter is that in the using uh, 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 favor or against the using of right and blank verse, that is judgment is very important but matter. So uh, Christ has highlighted this matter while uh, using blank verse or a rhyme that is there. So what is uh, Neander's argument in the favor? Neander talks about drama in general and, and tragedy in particular. So mm -hmm. particularly speaking, tragedy is a serious form of art. So if you want to maintain that seriousness of art, mm -hmm. it's better that you use noble rhymes. Mm -hmm. The rhymes are noble and, and, and very difficult to achieve. But still, if you have that literariness, artistic or craftsmanship, then you can certainly achieve that height and you can go for uh, the noble literature with rhyme. Uh, it's uh, very nice. Uh, it's uh, ob observed that Neander rep remained the representative of Dryden's thoughts. So, by giving the arguments of uh, by by giving the arguments on rhymes and blank verse, what uh, Dryden wanted to communicate or say through the dramatic poesy, your idea and thoughts are, I think, they will remain helpful for the e-content learner for uh, the literary criticism. Thank you very much. Thank you.